Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Optifine in Minecraft 1.14. Dot four. Optifine literally came out today, the day I'm recording this video for Minecraft 1.14.4 and we're going to be going over every single step of downloading it, installing it, and getting it set up in Minecraft 1.14.4. First and foremost though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS directed Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex Minecraft Hosting so much, we use them ourselves to host play.breakdowncraft.com. Com. So if you're looking for an incredible 24-hour DDoS picked in Minecraft server that you can run spigot, bucket, any plugins you want on, anything you want to do with Minecraft, you can do it with Apex Minecraft hosting. So again, check them out at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. First and foremost, we need to go to this link. This is actually the second link down below after Apex. This is the link you're going to go to. And once you're here, you can scroll down until you see this green download Optifine button. Now, this is actually our tutorial on downloading and installing Optifine. It goes through every single step of it. And uh, if I go too fast in this tutorial or anything like that, come here and you'll be able to go through this this tutorial at your own pace but if you're just watching the video tutorial go ahead and click the green download Optifine button right here once you click on that it will take you off to the Optifine official download page here and right up here at the top we can see Minecraft 1.14.4 officially released ready to go now what we want to do is come down here where it says again Optifine 1.14.4 scroll over and then click the mirror button here don't click download click the mirror button when you click the mirror button it will automatically take you off to a page that looks like this. It's got ads and everything, but that's perfectly okay. It'll take you to this page. If it takes you to AdFly, you didn't click the mirror button. Click the mirror button and it will immediately take you to this page. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the download Optifine underscore 1.14.4. Once you click on that, it will go ahead and immediately start downloading Optifine. It'll also probably open up a pop-up like this, but that's perfectly fine. What we're focusing on is downloading Optifine. So in the bottom left down here, you will see on Google Chrome, Optifine 1.14.4. See that? Optifine 1.14.4. On Google Chrome, you want to click that Keep button as long as it says Optifine 1.14.4. You're good to keep it. If it is on Mozilla Firefox, it's had a pop-up in the center of your screen that says, do you want to download, save this file, whatever. Whatever it says, as long as it says Optifine 1.14.4 and ends in .jar, you're going to go ahead and keep that file or save that file on Mozilla Firefox. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here on our desktop, we have Optifine. So Optifine is right here. As you can see, Optifine 1.14.4. And this isn't on your desktop, no worries. We can find it in your downloads folder. How do you access that? Well, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, but the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom left. Click on that and then go ahead and type in downloads, right like so. Then you'll have your downloads folder here. Click on that downloads folder and inside of it you will have Optifine, right right here. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Now once Optifine's on your desktop, you should be able to right click on it, go to open with, and then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. But what if you don't? What if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary or what if you click on it and it just doesn't work? Well. We have a solution for you. In the description of this video, you will find this link. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft, Minecraft servers, mods, and everything else. Guess what? Optifine is a Minecraft mod, so this is the tutorial you need to follow to download Java for your Minecraft mod, specifically for Optifine. Come here, download Java. It goes through the entire installation process here. Very, very simple, very, very easy. Now, if you do that and it still doesn't work, no worries. Just run the jar fix. This is also linked in the description down below and it'll fix all the jar files on your computer and make them work with Java again. So that is needed in order to run Optifine if you've installed Java and it still isn't working. Nevertheless, let's go ahead now, right click on Optifine, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. That will then open up the Optifine installer where we just want to click on that Install button there. At this point, it will go through and install Optifine. As you can see, Optifine is successfully installed. If that doesn't come up, if it doesn't tell you Optifine successfully installed, most likely it's saying something along the lines of, you need to run Minecraft 1.14.4. What does that mean? Well, just go into the Minecraft launcher, play Minecraft 1.14.4, and you'll be good to go. If you're like, I don't know how to do that, check out the video at the top of your screen right now, the I, that will show you exactly how to download and install Minecraft 1.14.4 so you can play it and then install Optifine. Now let's go ahead and click OK here. And now we just need to open up the Minecraft launcher. So we'll go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here and here's the brand spanking new Minecraft 
launcher for 114 plus. And uh, in this launcher, to get to Optifine, what you want to do is click the little arrow down here next to the play button. See that little arrow right next to the play button? Click on that. And then in here, you'll have an Optifine profile. As you can see, we do. We have Optifine, and it is for 1.14.4. You can go ahead and click on that, and as long as it says 114.4 there, you can click play. But what if you don't have that profile, or what if you want to add Optifine to another profile? What do you do? Well, go ahead and click on installations up here at the top of Minecraft. This is our installations page here. And once you're here, you just want to click on new. Now, if you want to add it to an existing version, click on the three lines over here and click edit. But if you don't have Optifine like version running 114.4, click on new there. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. That is our very own Minecraft server. We have grief protected survival with a player based economy. Absolutely incredible stuff over there on top of Skyblock for you and your friends to play and enjoy and just build an awesome island together. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Over 300 players online every single day. But nevertheless, once you've done that, we need to come over here to version. Click on that version drop down box. And in here you'll have release 1.14.4-optifine. Right. So go ahead and click on that. I'm going to change my resolution to 1920 by 1080 and then we go ahead and click create. Now on this page we can come down to the profile we created. Again, play.breakdowncraft.com is mine, best Minecraft server in the multiverse. And then go ahead and click the green play button on our profile we created. Now at this point Optifine is opening up with Minecraft 1.14.4 installed. It's very, very simple. Very, very easy. At this point, my like Optifine set up. It's, it's good to go. If you want to see how to configure Optifine, as you can see here, we have John Smith installed, but if you want to know how to configure Optifine for like stopping lag and things like that, check out the eye at the top of your screen right now. There's also a video at the eye at the top of your screen on how to install shaders with Optifine. So if you want to install shaders in Minecraft, you'll need Optifine to do that. And that video is linked at the eye at the top of your screen as well. We can go ahead and confirm Optifine's installed by going into Optifine here, clicking video settings and seeing all of these additional video settings. I actually go ahead and turn this resource pack off real quick. It's a great resource packing game. It's not great for navigating menus, just to be real there. But now, Go into video settings, we can see everything there. We've got shaders. All of it is now set up and running. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. If it did help you out, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. Also, come play with us at play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. My name is Nick. This has been, again, The Breakdown. I did a very long intro or outro. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.